Nearly a decade ago, NASA launched one of its most prized telescopes into space, but this week the Kepler uh, space telescope was officially retired. KPIX 5's John Ramos unveils the legacy the revered telescope leaves behind. The Kepler Space Telescope was launched nine years ago. It was nicknamed the Planet Hunter. And boy, did it do that job well. One zero and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. When Kepler launched in 2009, scientists still didn't know how many planets were out there among the stars. That's what former Apollo scientist William Baruki was trying to figure out when he proposed the mission. If you want to go and explore the galaxy, the first thing you need to do is show there are planets in the galaxy where life could exist. From the moment it was turned on, Kepler began finding planets. Every star seemed to have them. The telescope measured the drop in light when a planet would pass in front of its star. So you can see them by eye. You can see the data. There's the dip. There's the dip. And of course, later on, as time goes on, you see the smaller and smaller planets. In all, half a million stars were observed and more than 2,600 new planets confirmed, many in orbits that could allow the formation of water and perhaps life. Now, with the lifeless spacecraft drifting 94 million miles away, what will its legacy be? Baruki says, thanks to Kepler, we now know that for all the trillions of stars the night sky holds, it holds even more planets. It has opened the gate to the exploration of the cosmos. We know there are planets out there. There may well be life out there. Let's go and find it. Kepler may be gone, but its impact will last as long as man walks on this planet. It changed the question of life on other planets from does it exist to how could it not? At NASA's Ames Research Center in Mountain View, John Ramos, KPIX 5.